Yeah, because I, I gave him the... Michi, hörst du mich? Kannst du den äh, Aufnehmen drücken? Ja, Hanni, ist gut. Ah ja. <lacht> okay. Hi and welcome everybody to this uh, Shiny People Passion Talk number five already about mindset. Um, yeah, actually, for those of you who, who've never joined uh, a Passion Talk before, uh in the in the first lockdown here actually one year ago just because we didn't have any uh events to <laughs> to party and to dance and then uh we started with those passion talks uh because we we all kind of missed talking as well uh, due to the missing events so yeah we're just having several topics and uh, several artists uh as guests and i'm very happy to have uh, these three respectively four uh, people here. First, uh, Thorsten Stenzel or York. Well, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> hi, thank you. <laughs> Joining in from Antigua, right? <laughs> yeah, from the Caribbean. <laughs> yes, very nice. So it's uh, six hours back from, from here in Switzerland. So, yes, exactly. welcome to you. <laughs> thank you for uh, participating here uh, with. Yeah, probably all know you from uh, various projects you've been involved and uh, your amazing label Planet uh, Love Records, of course, as well. And uh, your current, uh, I guess, quite successful uh, project York as well. And then uh, we have uh, Nekadia. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. <laughs> and uh, your partner, Sebastian. Seb, hello from Berlin. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for having us. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, when I, when I, of course, I, I know your techno music for for years now. Um, but then, while I was reading uh, your your book, actually, this one, uh, it's called Positive Energy. I kept on reading. I was like, ah, oh, she should she should be like uh, joining our our passion talks. It would be so nice, just because of. Um, yeah, the story and the inspiration um, I think people get when reading this book. So um, I'm very, very happy you accepted this invitation. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the third speaker we have, uh, Tandu Ayla Ingo, <laughs> joining in from the south of Germany, I believe. That's yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful south of Germany. Of course, <laughs> Baden-Württemberg it is, right? Actually, yes. <laughs> yes, welcome. Um, yeah, of course, we we all know your name from the very emotional uh, tracks you produced uh, in the past for us. Uh, I yeah, always think back of the amazing moments on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Me too, actually. Also, yeah, <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, and also, of course, various projects you've been involved in. Um, one of them being Karuma. For those of you guys uh, joining in from Switzerland, we have uh, yeah you and then uh, two locals actually, the Highlander who is uh, Ellen, yeah. uh, joining in from this, in this talk again as well. And also uh, my Dex, who's uh, yep. yeah this guy from Burr, of course. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for Thanks being having me. here. <laughs> All right. So mindset. What is a mindset for you? What is a healthy mindset for you? And why is it so important? Um, yeah. Tandu, do you want to start with? Uh, I, maybe maybe some, somebody else could answer it first. OK, OK. <laughs> I have you. Um, as my as, uh, first. personal industry, so I was just <laughs> picking you. But uh, yeah, who wants to go first? Thorsten? Yeah, I can start. Let's get started. I can start. <laughs> I can start. All right. Um, healthy mindsets or mindset in general? Well, I mean, I think um, talking about music, the mindset is really important. Um, particular because we as musicians, we tend to be dragged down maybe much more than other people. So 
when you, when uh, at least I can speak for myself, when I'm depressed, I'm very depressed. And uh, maybe some some other person can deal with that better. But um, uh, I think when you are uh, making music, you need a certain amount of um, emotions, of course, and a character like that. So things touch maybe a musician a bit more. So and particularly, let's say now you during this lockdown and um, yeah, the last two years that haven't been easy. Uh, for everyone, although I have to say I'm I'm living I'm sitting on a little island, so I'm not complaining, um, because we were pretty much here in paradise for two years and didn't get much into trouble. But um, still, I was completely isolated from everyone, um, apart from internet, WhatsApp, and conversations on online or on the phone. Um, yeah, so I think especially now in the past two years to keep your mindset healthy and to yeah not try to fall into that big hole um, is very important. And um, there's various ways to do it. Um, I tried all of them, which would be um, drinking more um, <laughs> or smoking more or whatever, or doing everything, eating more, eating less, eating whatever, talking less. It, it's like I tried literally everything. Uh, everybody has to find out what's the healthy solution. But um, the first things I just managed didn't really work in a healthy way for me. So I stopped doing that. Um, I think we're all in, in the same situation. So yeah, how do you keep uh, a healthy mindset? Um, I guess it's staying positive. And of course, that's easy said, but also, um, yeah, it's not a new day can can bring totally different situations and maybe good news. So not every day is, is a bad day. And even when it's, it's a bad day, I try to uh, find the good things in it. Um, the Rasta people here say, count your blessings. So everything that's good and that's happening to me, whether it is that, you know, not another bone hurt in my body or that um, my neighbor was really friendly or they had a good chat when I was shopping or whatever. Um, all these things, I think, um, can influence you if you're open-minded and if you just let it soak in. Right. So do you actually practice that um, on, on consciously every day or is it just something you um, try to maintain every day? No, I, I try to practice it every day. Um, <laughs> it's just uh, better for, for myself and I found out that I mean all the other things like I said like if you if you drink or if you do anything to your body it's basically you just suppress your feelings and you numb yourself which is not the solution mm -hmm. um, it's uh, you have to deal with the problem actually and and to to just train yourself in and whatever alcohol or, or drugs that's that's not a key it's a quick fix but on the long run it's very dangerous so I try to stay just positive in, in my mindset and, and um, yeah, just see the good things. And also that, um, yeah, let's say kind of a, that attitude that every day, you, you don't know how long you live, you know? I don't know if I, we lost uh, a lot of uh, friends on the way already, um, I have to say. Um, lots of DJs and producers and people that I knew died in the last particular two years. Yeah. and. Um, so I'm, that, that is also something that, that really make, makes you think or make me think, okay, cherish every day. And you know, you don't know how long you have to, you, how, long, how long you live. <laughs> um, so that is uh, quite serious actually, but um, it's something we all have to think about. It is, yeah. And we always say mindset is key, but then sometimes it's just very difficult to kind of define it or to find um, your way in, in particular situations when it's not easy. I think so. Um, yeah, maybe maybe in Acadia. <laughs> I was wondering. Um, I read in your book that you you said you were kind of born with an overdose of positive energy. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, how how do you um, feel? Uh, you you deal with that in in situations. Is it just something you feel all the time, or something you can access when something is a bit um, more difficult um to to stay positive uh for me i i always i am like that i'm a person like that i always happy funny sometimes i don't take things serious but of course when become a 
a business, like maybe traveling a lot, no? So everything serious in that way, but but I try to not think too much serious, you know? So I just always say positive, make fun of it, you know? And during the time like lockdown here, so for me it's paradise because I, I have been traveling since like I begin DJ from beginning of uh, 2003, yeah. And, and all the way on tour when I come back home, maybe just a few days to just recap, uh, renew my suitcase. Mm -hmm. And now we have time for studio, you know, and the life not healthy, like, you know, always doing traveling and tired, like, wow, for me, like, paradise. So I think in a good way, like, yeah. So we have a chance to, to stay home. I educate my studio. I have time to learn German. And also, finally, I always want to write my book, but Oh, never have a chance because tired hangover and the brain doesn't work when I on the plane, you know, before I try, but then no, not work. So <laughs> finally, I got the request in Mauritius and on quality 14 day, I thought, okay, that's time I can be focused. So, so I begin the book from that, but of course it's not finished in 14 day. So mm -hmm. we sit down together, we try, because we are, uh, Step know me since when I not DJ yet, so he know all my the story, and yeah, we sit down together and try to remember what we did from the part and mm -hmm. to to mm -hmm. add it on the book. If if I may add something to your initial question, yeah, she she is actually born as the most positive person I've ever met in my life, and she taught me a lot. Being German, we Germans <laughs> we to be the complaining. Uh, nation in the world, everybody <laughs> complaining about everything and looking around, seeing things in a negative way. I think we are really famous for that. And she always like, why are you complaining? You know, everything that was not going so well, she just took it with a smile and, and totally relaxed. And even if for me, the world was breaking down, she was, come on, see it positive. And I, I learned in these 18 years or 19 years that we've been touring around uh, I've, I've learned so much and I changed completely I mean, she, she is such a positive person and it helps it really helps yeah I think it does it can actually also influence a career right yeah <laughs> definitely I think <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean the, the people that you're surrounded with who who would they rather be with with the person that is always bitching and seeing everything in, in a negative way or somebody that is spreading happiness and positive vibes so in that way uh, people always leave, love to be around her and that helps in your career as well, I think. And also part of our job as well. So <laughs> our job is happy and positive. So we have fun with our job, right? Yeah, that's, that's probably also, yeah, a very important thing. But, but still, I think, yeah, mindset is always, always important. Also, if you, if you like your job, just because, yeah, you kind of, that's, that's what Seb also said. I think you're attracting what you're sending out. So probably yeah. um, then mindset is not always, um, not only important for yourself, but yeah. also for, for everyone you encounter. I mean, this, we, we got so many times, like really lots of times over the years that people were emailing her saying, I came to the party with a bad mood. I, I didn't mm. really feel like it. My aunt, I saw you and, and I got so much positive energy. I suddenly, I, I had the best time of my life and you, you, you really made my day, my night, my night, whatever. So we had that so many times. And like, that's made me happy as yeah. well, even more happy. <laughs> of course, yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. Can, can, you, can you guys, I mean, everybody, can you guys um, maybe remember something when it didn't work when, when, or when you just, um, experience when uh yeah mindset in a positive or negative way influenced um the, the thing that happened yes. maybe yeah. no i'm i'm uh, um can say something to it uh oh. i i think sometimes if you in a, in a bad mood and you go to the studio and work on the track it's the most emotional emotional track you can get uh -huh. I, for me at least it is like that so when you actually express 
uh, also the the kind of negative yeah. Yeah. <laughs> feelings. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that and that makes me happy. So that's yeah. a way to work it. I like that because I think it's it's very important that we we also acknowledge this part of our mental mental uh, states and yeah. that, that, and to give room to that as well. And also, I remember in another passion talk we had, uh, we talked about uh, this as well to give room to emotions. So this can be positive, but it can also be negative. And then what turns out can be positive again. And that's probably also part of mindset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can turn it yeah. from, from the negative to, to the positive. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. So you, you would say your most emotional tracks yeah. were kind of created from a negative or sad kind yeah. of state. Yeah. Exactly. Nice, In, like nice, <laughs> interesting, yeah. <laughs> Thank well, you. Music is all about emotions. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and you cannot have only one emotion. I mean, even in a set, there need to be more different emotions. If you have a flat set that with, with just one single emotion, it's a very boring set. So it's like life, you know, you have to move through different stages of emotions. And that's what music is about. And it's so beautiful that you can put your, even your sadness into, uh, into, yeah. into a track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, it even makes other people happy when, I mean, yeah, when you say uh, your tracks, your most emotional tracks were uh, created out of a kind of negative state of mind and then they, they can make people so emotional in a positive way. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, it kind of makes it whole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. When you think back to when you started your um, musical career, whether it be production or DJing, in what ways uh, was it was mindset key then? Was it important, or did it just go on and, and just do whatever? Because <laughs> I think I feel I mean there's so many people doing something. Um, how can you find your way? Is it important then to have a kind of a stable mindset and a positive mindset, or was it something it wasn't here like consciously for you? I mean, I. I I'm, I was doing music since I was uh, five or six years old, so mm -hmm. um, I, I was a musician all the time. Mm -hmm. So I was a keyboarder in a, in a rock band and uh, all, the, all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, the most important thing in my life always was, was the music. Always. Uh -huh. So it wasn't that much of a change for you to start mm -hmm. No. This kind of, of, of career, yeah. No. Because I, I, I built up a studio in, I think it was 85 or something, 1985, and started with uh, doing music productions for rock bands and everything. And then uh, I started to do electronic music. So, yeah. It was, I think it was in 89, something like that. Uh -huh. and, and and it moved into producing and then I started being shame. Yeah. And then you just met kind of the right people and he went just on and on and on. Or, I mean, sometimes I wonder how, I mean, sometimes people say it has an influence on, um, yeah, who, who you, you get together or not. Or, you know, yeah, some sure. people make it if even, some people don't make it, even though they are amazing talents and others, you know, just it just happens. <laughs> I, I think it, it, for sure it has to be something um, good that you create. So, and everything else happens. I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. it's not only you that decide uh, where the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Did you have the expectations, or not really? Did you just go mm -hmm. on? I just, I just do what, what I think, what I feel, what I mm -hmm. uh, feel at, in, that, in that moment. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't expect something. Yeah, probably the good way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thorsten, <I don't> <laughs> what about what you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I would say, um, yeah, I kind of agree to, to Ingo. First of all, um, 
I, I probably wrote or produced about 700 songs and two of them have a major key and the rest is in minor keys. <laughs> so talking about, about bad, <laughs> sad emotions. <laughs> so it always, I think that shows pretty clearly that, um, yeah, I also, like Ingo said, I use music a lot, you know, to make me feel better. And um, I let those negative emotions out. And, and it's uh, unfortunately or fortunately then through more sad music but um it doesn't mean i'm a sad person it's just my outlet and i think it's the same for ingo it's it's um it makes me actually a happier person and um so i just wanted to say that uh, i think yeah I'm, I'm kind of the same and um yeah i mean talking about the mindset and that is like we cannot always be happy and i think you also have to be true to yourself if you're not and um, also, you know, talk maybe with other people about it. And, and um, making music is, is just for us a way to let it out. And um, I think, of course, there's other producers who are just listening what is in the top 10. And then they sit down there and download uh, some, some sounds who are exactly the same. And then you produce the same stuff continuously. Um, I don't think there is anyone here in this um, room who works like that but there's plenty of people who do exactly that. And there's not much soul in, in that stuff. And maybe it's also more and more music, maybe more than in the nineties uh, when we kind of started because today you can produce music on a laptop and back in the day you needed at least a decent um, setup of synthesizers um, and a mixer and stuff. And so it was a different scenario. Yeah, yeah. Someone but, is laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it was a blessing back then. <laughs> it was, how do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you also think um, it, it helps at the moment? I mean, can you, yeah, of course, you, you two, you, you wrote your book, but um, what about the others? Can you? even though um, there's no, you know, events and everything and every, I, I feel, yeah, music seems to be kept down a little bit, but then on the other hand, um, I see so many um, artists being so creative in those, uh, in those COVID times, which is, might be surprising, but yeah, it's, it might be also um, a way to, to deal with that. I think it's important uh, in that time to, uh, be creative and do different things. Mm -hmm. um, maybe to to keep to keep your um, your music to keep it alive. Really to 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 make streams to do different stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I think there's a, a lot of um, uh, issues, uh, a, a lot of stuff you can do around. Mm -hmm. to keep it alive when the start uh, when it starts back mm -hmm. yeah yeah does it also help you to um yeah look in the future to kind of keep a positive mindset about the future and um you know maybe planning uh things and yeah or does it does it make you rather sad because it's not now maybe maybe it's uh, it's better not to plan <laughs> right now. i think it's, it's better to prepare to prepare the restart yeah so you like cooking in the studio and when it's <laughs> ready you can go out <laughs> maybe, maybe that's one thing yeah. I've learned about this COVID crisis is you cannot plan anything. Yeah. Whatever you plan, it's coming different yeah. anyway. <laughs> so it's true, yeah. Yeah, you have to be very flexible, right? Yeah. 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 So how, how are you spending your days? Now the book is uh, written, so... <laughs> but are you... Um, yeah, but is it keeping you busy at the moment? We? No, you, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For me, yeah, I'm really busy. Actually, I'm really happy about it because uh, 
I have so many things to do and I really want to do more like creative, many different kind of thing. Also, we do it is, it sounds like a student, but nowadays, yeah, you, I have to keep myself alive on social. So mm -hmm. I do this video as well, even on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> learning new things yeah, yeah it's awesome. and, and also the as a producer so i still really young so i i work on it so mm -hmm. and just uh because um i would sometimes i really get bored the music that what i have i play a lot of live stream and mixes i get bored the, the track that i have is so many but i still bored i really want to have the track something really new something different and to be really my style, but it's not easy to find the, the, the one that is new because everything is already there. So, mm -hmm. but I keep work on it to, to create the something yeah. new her, her, style. Her 24 hours per day are not enough. She's always busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's nice. I think it helps in, in these days, right? I mean, if, if, it, if you don't have this part of uh, touring and, and having the gigs, this, time has to be filled with something else that makes you happy so but it's so great nowadays everything on the internet just look back on my time when i just uh before i became dj because i learned english by myself uh yeah so and also i learned how to dj alone in that time is no model that i can watch no youtube nothing you know so and especially i come from thailand not on and not in Bangkok, really small little tiny town there. I want to be DJ, but I have no any idea about electronic music. I have nobody to, to learn from. That's really hard for me. And now I look back, I sit here on the computer, whatever I want to learn, I just search on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just lucky for the children now, they can learn everything on the internet, but that time, wow, so hard. So I use my time right now, whatever I want to know, I learn something, just go on youtube and social so, yeah and, and learn yeah learn what, how to do it what yeah. would we have done if um, if covid had struck in the 90s without internet or something yeah <laughs> so true <laughs> yeah i've been thinking about that too <laughs> so true if we didn't have the the, the video uh, calls and everything yeah yeah that's really true <laughs> yeah uh just asking um because sometimes i forgot that people have questions to 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 ask are there any questions in in the audience uh some people write their questions in the chat michi is there any question so far no no nothing okay okay that's fine so we can go on so all questions answered <laughs> yeah if anybody has any question also or input whatever you can just just feel free to also unmute yourself and um uh ask your question or give some input everybody very welcome of course <laughs> gaby no input from you <laughs> you're always the one <laughs> yeah no, normally i'm always the one that asks questions <laughs> No, most of the time stupid questions but uh, no. um yeah what how, yeah um the mindset of what the, the topic of today uh, for me it was always the you know the i'm always the happy guy the funny guy and uh keep doing that and um but uh yeah let's hope uh, um how how, how will, do you see uh, things are opening uh, sooner than than expected uh, to have to have parties like uh, here in Amsterdam, uh, Loveland Festival is taking place. Uh, I think Mystic Garden and other other clubs and in, in London, uh, everything is open. Uh, does it also help help you with 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 your mindset for the future? There's a question for everyone. <laughs> 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 yeah maybe it's it's a vision to 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 come to that point i hope uh, well these, these things make me just realize how how terrible our situation in germany is 
looking at the other countries and going like, ah. <laughs> but anyway, we are flexible. I also think that more countries in Southern Europe uh, are going to open. I just heard today that in France, they start from May 15. So that is even sooner than the others. Um, let's see. I mean, nobody wants to go to a COVID hotspot, uh, even though it's maybe illegal, illegal, but you still don't want to do it. Like we had so many requests from South America, India, uh, Ukraine lately, but um, you don't want to do that. You know, Ukraine, even uh, the, the, the night of the party that was like two weeks ago now yeah. that we were booked or she was booked, uh, they started the lockdown. Um, and so we said, oh, fine, we're, we're not going lockdown. We are, we're not going to do a party, right? And they thought, no, no, we're still allowed to open. You know, we have contacts and we, we open anyway. No, but we are not coming. I want to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> so this kind of thing, you know, this is, um, we have to wait for the right moment. And um, even though many countries are going to open up step by step, it's a good sign, but um, we still have to keep an eye on yeah. doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody I know uh, did play a gig in Brazil yesterday. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of iffy. I think in, in uh, the country where it's really dangerous and yeah. in the club there was not no of course no social distancing nobody wearing a mask and it's all in a, was in a small club jam packed I don't think that's really responsible to be honest it's yeah. even if it's mm -hmm. even if they have enough money to bribe everyone and and stuff like that and make it possible I think it's also you know our responsibility to act um, yeah, responsible and, and, you know, to be careful and be an example for others, not just, oh, great, there's a party, let, let's go. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I, I don't think it's a good sign if you post now that you played a gig in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like, seriously? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it also, I mean, you, you would actually risk, um, yeah, being irresponsible, you would actually risk to influence other people and then it gets the whole thing in a, in a different direction, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we were planning to go to Thailand in June and we've been looking forward. I mean, she hasn't been home for- We have the flight book. Everything, everything was done, but now it was actually, they didn't have COVID for most of the last year. I mean, very, very few cases, talking about 10, 15 cases in a week. Mm -hmm. And now there was an outbreak in a club and then there was a festival in Phuket, which uh, these people from that club also went. So that it became yeah. a huge outbreak spreading all over the country from this festival. And now Thailand is in lockdown, basically, with mm -hmm. 2000 cases a day and going up, the numbers going up. So forget about June, that's over. Yeah. So one, one party can really change the whole situation in the country. Right. That is you don't that's a really party. good example. Yeah, yeah, really good example of what you're just telling them. Responsibility that we have to not uh, support this kind of thing. Yeah. 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 It's a big Can challenge to be patient, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I have a question at this moment? Yes, of course you can. Uh, hello, this is Zafar from Istanbul, Turkey. So I see so many uh, techno producers from Europe uh, are going to uh, India. Uh, especially in the last periods, I see so many gigs from quite famous uh, European uh, techno DJs. For example, uh, what Nakadia thinks about it. So because she's originally from Far East and I don't know, maybe she could go to India and, uh, and then to Thailand. But uh, honestly, I'm not so sure if uh, these gigs are really uh, safe because I see a lot of people dancing close together and without any masks. What do you yeah. think about that? Yeah, for well, ask me, no? Yeah, so for me, um, I got the request, no? But then I, it's, it's too risky, like we say, we don't want to support that, you know? It's also, I want to be safe for, my, for myself, for my healthy. So no, I not accept the... The, the booking that I say wait for everything the right time so then we we can come back to India or Thailand as well so no I not want to go in at the moment okay thank you 
thank you. So, sorry, Olivia, to change the, the topic <laughs> because it was all That's about all right. mindset. <laughs> no, no, it's, <laughs> it's not. I mean, you know, <clears throat> to me, I mean, I also uh, chose the topic because I, I do believe it can um, kind of influence the way we deal with the situation as well. Uh, of course, I'm also wondering how uh, an artist deals with mindset in general, um, even if there's no COVID. <laughs> um and also from the start when you, you when you start DJing or producing but also uh right now because i do think it's a challenge for for everybody and also for artists especially so um no no uh, reason to excuse yourself <laughs> i just saw a question coming up i think ah frank uh did anybody of you use the mindset as a good tool to success yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. did you yeah can you yeah explain? definitely <laughs> definitely i mean uh, maybe in a, in a crazy way or you guys think i'm insane but <laughs> i think <laughs> i think if oh. you visualize <laughs> if you visualize <laughs> things that kind of works okay so if you if you want to accomplish something or you want something or you yeah you have a certain goal if you try to imagine yourself being in that situation or having that or owning that or doing that i do this um already a long time in my life and you know, also in my my career mm -hmm. and i think it helps you just i'm it's not a miracle i, I think it just um helps you yeah to have the right attitude you know, if you if you can imagine yourself being in some situation or doing something that can be good and bad, I think it's easier, you know, to accomplish that. It's also in a negative way. If people always think they, you know, they're going to be not lucky, they're going to have uh, bad luck and they're going to get sick and whatever. Um, it also influences you in a bad way, but you can also use that in a positive way if you just visualize uh, the good things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very interesting. So did you did you practice that like also in, in back in the years when you started, just when you were doing something yeah. that you visualized yeah, the success of it? Nice. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I always did this. Uh, I, I'm I'm a dreamer. Maybe that's also when I was dreaming, I'm trying to dream nice things, <laughs> not bad things. So <laughs> that puts you into that situation or puts put it put me in that situation that I just visualized or imagined good things happening to me and and then maybe sometimes they happen uh -huh. did you experience it both ways also in a negative yes. way yeah yeah def definitely i think it works both ways and um yeah like i said it's not hocus pocus and mm -hmm. it's maybe also subconscious if you if you have some if you want to accomplish something and and you your whole conscious works towards that it, and it can work i mean it's like um it's a general attitude um, towards things and it's also people use that in meditation they imagine nice things and then you know meditate and it makes them feel better um, even mm -hmm. blinks brings the blood pressure down so yeah yeah i think it works both ways yeah and it does i mean um, in a way, I, I would never explain it with focus focus, as you say, <laughs> just because, I mean, in a way you can expl explain it also biologically when, uh, you know, neuro um, neural connections get stronger when you think about the topic all the time and when you connect, connect it with emotions. So uh, I, I do think it, uh, yeah, it can be very effective if you, yeah. So, so Frank, did, did it answer your question or do you have any experience yourself? You on mute, I think. <laughs> you have to unmute yourself, I can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, now better? Okay, yeah. sorry. I was thinking the audio is on all the time. I was talking and talking. <laughs> So I repeat my repeat it. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased to hear this, Thorsten, um, because yeah, I'm learning about these things, and I'm I have the feeling we don't know about this so much uh, in general about this. 
because uh, I mean, everybody of us knows when we want to have something really, really strong, like ich will or I want, it never works. It has to be from the mindset, a kind of relaxed, like, of course, like a wishful thinking and we have, but we have to invest something for this. It's, it's not coming out of nowhere. So you need to work on the goal, but with a relaxed mindset and a positive, more in an easy way. I tried it really out in one of my latest productions and I can say, yeah, it works. And I just wanted to have like the experience from the others about this. It's really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice, I'm happy to hear that. Especially the, the visualizing thing. I really visualized a track on a certain position in the charts and it definitely went there. So this is, it sounds crazy, but yeah, I can say it works. It's very interesting. No, well, that's amazing. That's great to hear. But um, also I think what you just said is really important. It's like, you cannot lie on the sofa 24 seven and then think, oh, the most amazing <laughs> no. shit is gonna happen to me when I just sit here, <laughs> drink beer, lie on the sofa. Yeah, of course. It's, um, you have to do something for it. Uh, that is, of course, the big other part is like yeah. to invest a lot of time, love and energy. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. that, that has to go hand in hand and a mindset alone is never enough yep. and, and it, it also the goal that you that you set or the, what you visualize for yourself I don't even think that that it works with a certain definite goal like I'm winning the lottery next week or something that's not going to happen but if you just visualize uh, the success for yourself or that you know for yourself you can do it that you do that you are confident for yourself with a positive mind that's the way that it will happen i think but you have to work for it and also i think it's important what Thorsten said you have also to to imagine yourself in the situation as it as if it would already happened mm -hmm. i think this is a really important thing as well exactly exactly feel the feeling for this yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah thank you for the answer yeah, it also helps to to keep the flow, right? To keep to, to be in the yeah, in this in this flow of um, positivity, maybe yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you for the question. Very nice Thank topic. You. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I have a question for oh, all, yeah. <laughs> all all three of you. Uh, are you actually aware of how your music? has an influence on the mindset of other people. You know, so uh, for example, uh, Ingo, I know your album, Isla Nirvana, had a huge influence on people. I mean, there's, there's actually people named the kids uh, after the album. Uh, and uh, also people have got married and they've used tracks uh, actually from the album. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, Ingo, we've known each other for nearly 30 years. We've done quite a lot of work together as well. But, yep. you know, it's just, uh, uh, all three of you, are you actually aware, but also to other people, Frank, to you as well, uh, are you actually aware of, of how your music has an influence on other people's mindset? <laughs> no. Yeah, well, I am because um, through the internet nowadays, I'm getting um, all the, the feedback now, like in a daily routine already, like on YouTube or SoundCloud with the comments or on Instagram. And um, I'm always very grateful. And I always try to answer all these people as well. And um, always say to them how much I appreciate that. And um, one thing I always say, it's like the feedback from the people is like the fuel to keep me going because yeah, it is, this, um, let's say our music and productions is a language you send this out. And if you don't have a, a resonance or a feedback, it would be, I don't know, I, it would stop me, I think. So the, the resonance, the feedback is essential to me. Uh, as a DJ or as a producer, it's the same. I really, this is what I inhale to keep going. And I'm aware of this, yes. It's the same as a musician. Yeah, you need you need the feedback from the from crowd yeah. as DJ. You need the feedback from the crowd. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, Ellen uh, Ellen directed that question to Ingo straight. Um, 
I think um, sometimes, and probably for Ingo, it's the same. I could imagine you don't even know what kind of thing you create for other people. You just do what you ever do and then you release it. I mean, I know your Nirvana album, of course, inside out, and it's really, really nice. And um, you probably don't know how many young producers you influenced with this album or people who whatever got married or fall in love mm -hmm. when they heard uh, a certain song. Um, you probably don't know that when you when you do that and then you get someday a message you're like oh what that happened and and yeah. then you realize slowly what you actually created yeah sure i got i got a lot of messages but i was very happy for sure but at the moment i created it i didn't know about it <laughs> yeah it's actually re very nice also for for us i would say because sometimes at least I, when I like a track or when I like a set, I feel the need to tell uh, the, the artist. But then sometimes you feel like, well, it must be the thousands of message that, that he or she gets. So um, does it even have an impact? So to hear that it actually has is yeah. very nice, I think. Yeah, it has. And I, I often hear from artists, I mean, not I don't have that experience myself, but I have known artists for more than 30 years. And so many of them told me that they are often getting feedback that they, net, that they did not expect. For example, that when they make a quick track and they don't expect much of it, that that has the most impact. Yeah. The big surprises always come mm -hmm. for them, you know, the, a track that they work on for weeks and they believe in that track and nothing happens with yeah. it. But the other one that just on the side, <laughs> that becomes the one. Yeah. This is this is what I always heard for so many years. Yeah. Oh, that's totally true. I think that's totally true. <laughs> and that's why the feedback is so important. I mean, it's not just about chart positions. It's also the the stories that come back to you as a as a producer or an artist. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did you answer the question, Alan? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> We can also direct the question to yourself, actually. It's to me. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> what about uh, yeah, yeah, feedback's always good, but uh, you know, th there's feedback and there's feedback. You know, if there's cause the point I was trying to to get across is, you know, knowing that you've actually changed somebody's life for the positive through your music. You know, if, if you're aware of any situations like that, because so, I think these kind of things, that's what really, really motivates. And that's what really, uh, you know, makes you put more emotion into your music. Yeah. So, yeah, feedback is good no matter which way it comes. Yeah, we need yeah. it. Yeah. Well, OK, is there anything you want to share with us? Um, Kind of, oh, sorry. Olivia, there's a new question. Yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> uh, is there music that you wish, again, the music that you wish I had made? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I don't really understand the question. But there's another one um, from Sefer. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel and what it is uh, your mindset to concentrate your performance during a pre-recording? of a live stream set. There is no resonance and no feedback from any, from anyone expect for the cameraman. Oh yeah, to the live stream aspect of it when there's no feedback, I think. Who does pre-recorded live streams? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a live stream if it's pre-recorded. Yeah. So. <laughs> Makes no sense. But you have feedback if you have a live stream. You have yeah. like on, on a chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to on the live comments. Yeah. On the live stream. Yeah. But still it's it's a different kind of feedback, right? I mean if yeah, yeah if sure. you don't see people. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. It's different. The time is different. So <laughs> that's nice mindset. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I can also contribute to this question the way I did this, I admit. 
because I had to, we, we were booked for streaming and then they recorded and then they launched the whole set from various teachers from different countries to one at one evening or something. Mm -hmm. So you stand there completely alone with the camera. <clears throat> and in, in one case, it was even, I was really alone in the room as well. And then you do what I, what I do in the studio when I'm making alone music, you go into yourself and you feel that what you play in that moment. And yeah, you suck all this in what you're playing out. So um, you give yourself the resonance in this way, I, th I would say. Yeah. For me, for me, because uh, when doing a real life, it's good uh, that the thing that I cannot see the feedback, but safe check the feedback for me from the comment. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the record live, that is good for me because, uh, okay, I can sit down and check what's going on <laughs> on the comment, how people give the feedback. That's also nice to see. Mm. But when I'm playing, I really on the deck there, uh, you know, then, then for, of course, I, I don't know, I just enjoy myself. I just happy dance. And I just imagine yeah. somebody watched me. So I just play with the camera. <laughs> yeah. That already give the good, good feedback for myself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with, with her in the beginning uh, of her career, when she was practicing, I mean, she started with vinyl yeah. and there was a, she needed to practice a lot to get this right. Um, she always enjoyed the music so much. It didn't matter that there was nobody there, but she just enjoyed the music. I just surrounded by the scene here. Yeah, and then uh, we wrote also in, in the book this one yeah. story about this festival in Holland where she was really excited to play with so many big names and there was this nice big stage and then suddenly the promoter said, your stage is over there and it was this little tent with no people at all. And she was so sad and I said, you know what? Just do what you did at home all these years. Yeah. You just enjoy your music by yourself. And, and so what happened, she it. played, she enjoyed, and suddenly this tent started to walk full of people and all the people from the main stage came over and, and came to this little tent that uh, was a unique experience that I will never forget. Um, mm -hmm. the, just this, this positive approach changed the entire situation from a negative situation to a extremely positive situation just enjoy no? yeah. just enjoy your thing but then the feedback will come and that's the same with the live streams you have no crowd but you don't know who's out there you just mm -hmm. do it for yourself you play and enjoy the music by yourself and the music that you love especially the track that you produce so you have to have fun with it <laughs> nice thank you <laughs> yeah yeah i think we have to trust that the situation can change if we have the right mindset to it. It's not always easy, but yeah. 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 Nice. Okay, is there anything, any advice to, to us uh, you have uh, to, to share for this situation or for the future about mindset or anything else? Stay positive. <laughs> Like my book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was the right title. Yeah, no. Don't be shy. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? No, Ingo? Yeah, maybe, may, maybe I would say uh, don't try it, that negativity is overcoming you. I mean, that is something. You know, maybe the biggest issue, like it's easy to say, oh, stay positive, but some people can't. So yeah, I, yeah. if you're not, try to try to talk to someone who is a positive person. And also I have one advice that I can give anyone and you probably know it and you practice it. I cut out um, negative persons of my personal life. Yeah, you can. So if somebody is like poison for me, I do not mingle with this person or talk to that person. And, yeah. and yeah. there's people in, in my life, in your life that are not good for you. So try to stay away from them. That's uh, advice I would give someone. That's what I do. Yeah. Negative people, oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe also stay healthy. Yeah. Also uh, very important, I think. Yeah, yeah, we do. It is how we all do. Yeah. I, the more healthy ever, no alcohol. Like beginning like five months in a row, that never happened to me. Like, wow, no alcohol at all. 
Yeah. A brat. <laughs> Lots of sleep. <laughs> a lot of sleep. I can have a nap in the afternoon anytime. <laughs> oh, this is why you look so fresh. Now I get it. <laughs> But I am my own board, actually. So because when we traveling, everything matters. You know, Seb always in my time. He will tell me like, okay, now we have to go to the airport. Yeah, you told me I'm the boss. Yeah, he my boss. He tells me that okay, now we have to go to the club. We have to go dinner. You know, it's everything in schedule. And now I'm so happy, like to stay home, and we I can manage manage my own time. So sometimes I feel like uh, okay, I want to do things slow. It's better nobody can tell me what to do. But of course we are. I am busy, but just try to not stress. That's it. Oh, Because all the stress go to sleep. <laughs> She can be so positive because she doesn't know her bank account. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so see, we kept it uh, one hour, <laughs> so we managed. Um, yeah, thank you very much for for all your input and all your messages and uh, everything you you told us. Very interesting and inspiring as well i think take care of yourself uh, as you said yourself try to be uh, as positive as you can and uh, we're we can't wait to to listen to a new music in the future be it on, on somewhere on an event or you know any medium uh, possible thank you so much everyone thank you thanks for organizing this yeah to meet sure. everyone <laughs> thank you thank you thank you, thank you well. stay safe everyone bye 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 bye, bye. bye. <laughs> ah, yeah one more <laughs>